Hello and welcome to MyMiniMaths.co.uk video tutorial. And today we're going to be looking at formal written methods with subtraction where we're going to need to borrow from the larger column. So on to question one. And again we need to focus on the column headings. So we have units, tens, hundreds and sometimes we need thousands. And the first question is 682 and we are subtracting 244. Now let's have a little look. So that's 682 and we are subtracting 244. So if we look at the first one, we have two take away four. Now if I have two sweets, my brother can't take four away from me. It's just not possible. So what we need to do is we need to borrow one of these tens from here. So this now becomes a 70. And we bring that 10 over here to make a total of 12. So now, 12 minus 4, subtract 4, gives us 8. Then onto the tens column, we have a 7 minus 4, which gives us 3 tens. So that's 70 minus 40, which is 30. And then finally, we have the 600, subtract the 200, gives us 400 for a final answer of 438. Now, before we move on to the next question, it's really, really worth paying attention to these numbers because we really do need to check to see if it's possible for us to subtract them. If not, we need to go to the next column to borrow in order so we can actually take the smaller number away from the bottom. And next, we're on to question two. So again, our units, our tens, our hundreds and our thousands and we have 614 subtract 323 and if we split that into and separate that into its different columns we have 600 a single 10 and 4 for 14 for 614 and we're subtracting 300 and 23. So, first of all, onto the units. So, four units minus three units gives us a single unit left over. Then we have 10 subtract 20. Now, we can't take 20, 20 away from 10 uh, in these columns. So, what I need to do is I need to go next door and I need to borrow 100 to give me a total of 110 in this tens column. I've got 500 left over here. So here I have 11, and this has now become a 500. So 110 subtract 20 gives me 90. So that's 11 tens minus two tens gives us nine tens. And in the hundreds column, I have 500 subtract 300 gives me 200. So 500 minus the 300 gives me 200 for a final answer of 291. And next we're on to question three. So again, units, tens, hundreds, thousands. And it's 2,118, and I am subtracting 1,212. And if I break those columns down, there's 2,100, single 10, and 8 for 18. And I am subtracting 1,200. And 12. 
So let's have a look at the different values. So first of all, in the units column, there's eight subtract two, which gives me six left over. Then there's a 10 take away 10, which leaves me with nothing. Then onto the hundreds column, we have this larger number here again. So 100 take away 200, while well, the second number is too big. So I need to borrow 1,000 from over here, leaving 1,000 in the thousands column, and bring that extra 1,000 here, which gives us 1,100. So 1,100 subtract the 200 gives me 900. And then in the thousands column, it's a thousand, subtract a thousand, leaves me with nothing left over. So I have a final answer of 906. And finally, on to question four. Again, if I write out my columns, so units, tens, hundreds, and thousands. 5,438, and I am subtracting 2,229. So if I split that number down into 5,438, and I am subtracting 2,200, and 29. So let's have a look at our columns. So first of all, 8 subtract 9. So the second number is larger, so we need to borrow from the tens column, leaving just 20 in the tens. And bringing that extra 10 over here to make 18. So now we have 18 Subtract 9 gives us 9, or leaves us with 9. Then, onto the tens column, we have 20. Subtract 20, leaving us with 0. There's nothing left over. Then 400 minus 200 in the hundreds column leaves us with 200. Two one hundreds there. And finally, 5,000 minus 2,000 leaves us with 3,000 in the thousands column for a final answer of 3,209. So by the end of today's session, it's really important to remember to keep an eye open for when we need to borrow, because it's a really common mistake that uh, children just subtract the smaller number from the bigger number, irrelevant of which order they come in. So please um, keep your eyes open for that. Thank you very much for listening today, and I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Take care.